Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about organogenesis. So uh, before entering into this video, I recommend you to watch my previous video on plant tissue culture because it is a basic method to learn all different types of the tissue culture methods. So among them, organogenesis is one of the type of plant tissue culture method. So in this video, today let us discuss about organogenesis. So coming to the definition of this organogenesis, the formation of organs like root, stem, leaves from the callus in a culture medium by inducing of some chemicals is known as organogenesis. So what do you understand by this definition basically? So actually what are the organs which are present in the plants? Like if you take root, stem, leaves, fruits, flowers, all of this comes under the parts of an organ, comes under the classification of the organs, right? So the formation or the development of organs like root stem leaves from the callus. Callus is nothing but it is a mass of cell which has been derived from a, a normal explant. That's nothing but firstly you are going to take an explant and when you place it in a culture medium which consists of some chemicals. Culture medium is nothing but uh, which consists of amino acids, vitamins, you know plant growth hormones like this many uh, type of nitrogenous base uh, all of this will be present in this culture medium which plays a major role and gives nutrition to that explant to get developed into the callus. So finally there will be a formation of callus and from that callus the formation of organs will occur. And here in this definition they given that the formation of organs like roots, stem, leaves from the callus, right, in a culture medium by inducing some of the chemicals is known as organogenesis. I hope you didn't understand this definition properly, but if I explain you the pro total procedure in a diagrammatic expression, then you can easily understand. So, uh, let us discuss this diagrammatic expression of this organogenesis. So, before entering into the diagrammatic expression, firstly, you have to know about the cytokinins, I mean, the which is a plant growth regulators. We know that there are three types of plant growth regulators, right, auxins, cytokinins and gibberlins or else it is also called as gibberlins. So these three plant growth regulators plays different roles. Among them, auxins as well as the cytokines plays a major and vital role in this organogenesis process. So actually let us, you have, you have to know what is meant by the cytokines and actually what is the cytokines. Normally the cytokines will be inactive in form. So what we have to do to, get, to make the cytokines to be inactive in form, we can do that. It should get reacted with one of the plant growth regulator like auxin. And once the cytokine will get reacted with another auxin or as another plant growth hormone, then immediately it will get into it will get converted into the active form from the inactive form to the active form. Once it is get converted into the active form, then it can exhibit its property. I mean, it exhibits its function. So, what is the main function of the cytokinins? The main function of the cytokinins is to exhibit cytokinesis process. So, what is meant by cytokinesis? Cytokinesis is nothing but the cell division. Cell division is, uh, if, for example, you are you are taking an explant and you are making, uh, you are taking that explant and you are culturing it in a culture medium. And we know that the culture medium consists of these cytokinins. I mean, these plant growth regulators, and that explant will absorb all of that nutrients, I mean the cytokines which are present in the nutrient medium and then it undergoes division. Once it undergoes division, then it forms the callus. So you can understand this process when you see the previous video of the plant tissue culture. And here, here also I'm going to explain you properly in the diagrammatic expression. So wait for it. So now, coming to this organogenesis, this organogenesis can occur in two stages. The first stage is, uh, you know, it, it occurs in two stages. Either it undergoes collagenesis or else either it undergoes rhizogenesis. Either both of this, any one of the process will occur during this stage of this organogenesis. So what is meant by this callogenesis? Callogenesis is nothing but the shoot initiation. So you have to know what is meant by shoot and what is meant by root. I am going to explain you in the procedure. And another one is a rhizogenesis. The rhizogenesis is nothing but the root initiation. Okay. So normally auxin as well as the cytokinin plays a major role in this organogenesis. We know that when the concentration of auxin is low when compared to that of, when compared to that of cytokinins, then the shoot initiation occurs. And when the auxin concentration is high, when compared to that of cytokinin, then the root initiation occurs. And once the both auxin as well as the cytokinin concentration is equal, then it undergoes the cytokinesis process. So cytokinesis is nothing but the cell division which I have said you before in this, right? So now let us see the diagrammatic procedure of this organogenesis culture. So in any type of plant tissue culture method, the first step which you have to perform is that selection of the mother plant. So this will be your mother plant. So make sure the selection of that mother plant should be matured. I mean, it should get completely developed, well developed. So what is meant by this well developed? That's nothing but that the root system as well as the shoot system should get completely developed. So what is meant by this root and shoot system? 
root system is nothing but which is present the region which is present below the soil comes under the root system and the organs or as a region which is present above the soil is called as a shoot system so what are the organs which comes under the root system the roots right and coming to the shoot system what are the organs which are uh, present in the shoot like if you take meristem you know stem uh, leaves fruits flowers all of this comes under the shoot system so in this way you have to select a mother plant it's okay it's fine now so now you have to cut a part of a mother plant for the for the process of this cultivation so you can cut meristem anthers pollens or else a leaf either of these you can cut any one of the part here uh, most of the cases only leaf will get cut out so here also i am taking the example as a leaf so here now the leaf uh, from this leaf one part of the leaf should get cut over so here uh, only one part of the leaf i mean only a single bit of a leaf will get cut and that cut over part is called as an explant so what is my explant explant is a part of a mother plant in simple words to say right so you are going to select a mother plant and, that's a, and from that mother plant you are going to select a small organ and that organ will be taken as a leaf and from that leaf you are going to cut a small part of the leaf and here that cutted part which has been uh, you know isolated from this leaf is called as an explant. So in simple words to say this explant is nothing but a part of a mother plant right. So now we are taken an explant right and here we know that this explant consists of the bacteria because it has been extracted from the mother plant it and it is survived in the external environment. We know that in the external environment there is a presence of the harmful bacteria as well as a useful bacteria. So this mother plant will attract the nutrient you know what we say this bacteria so the explant will also consist of the bacteria right. So you have to do the surface sterilization for 10 minutes and surface sterilization is a process where this explant where the bacteria which is present on the surface of this explant will get removed by this process. So what is the process of the surface sterilization? I already explained in my previous video of plant tissue culture technique. So the link will definitely give me the description box. So go, go through the description box and go through that video so that you can understand what is meant by the surface sterilization. So now after the process of the surface sterilization for the 10 minutes, the bacteria which is present on the explant will get uh, you know, removed in such a way that the explant will be free from bacteria. And now what you have to do with this explant? From here, the actual process of the organogenesis takes place. So now let us see. So firstly you have to take a test tube and in the test tube you have to add the nutrient medium and what what are the nutrients which are present in the nutrient medium also I explained in my previous video of plant tissue culture technique you can uh, go through there. So I am recommending you to first watch that video so that you can understand this uh, total video properly. And now we are going to take a nutrient medium in this test tube. And now the explant which you have chosen with, with free from bacteria, which is free from bacteria should be placed into this nutrient medium. And don't forget students, this nutrient medium consists of the plant growth regulators or plant growth hormones, which I have said you in the introduction region only. So this introduction part, I have, what I have said you, the cytokinesis process plays a major role by the cytokinins, right? So plant growth hormones consists of cytokinins as well as the auxins, right? So make sure this nutrient medium consists of the auxins as well as the cytokinins. So you are going to place this explant which is free from bacteria into this culture medium or as a nutrient medium and make sure immediately within a fraction of seconds you have to close this test tube within a by using a cotton. So why you are going to close this test tube by using a cotton because to prevent the entry of a harmful bacteria into this test tube. So we know that the environment consists of the harmful bacteria as well as the useful bacteria. If there is a presence of the useful bacteria, then uh, there will be nothing presence, okay? There will be nothing effect. But if the harmful bacteria will enter, then we can't do anything, right? So for our uh, better uh, understanding purpose, we have to close this test tube by using a cotton. Tightly, you have to close this uh, test tube tightly by using a cotton. So now what you have to do? So now incubation process should occur. And from here, listen properly students. And now what occurs in this incubation? Incubation is nothing but where this explant will get completely developed into colors. So here this is a colors. Normally here this explant plays a major role either in two conditions. And that condition is called as organogenesis where it undergoes either root formation or else a shoot formation. And once the root formation will get completed then it undergoes shoot formation. And once the shoot formation will get completed then it undergoes a root formation. Okay. So either of these both only one process will occur during your experiment. Okay, so uh, here explant has been cultured and now that explant will get developed into the callus. So how it will get developed into the callus by using the cytokin cytokinins. So what is the cytokinins? What is the major role of the cytokinins which I have said you in the introduction part? See here, the cytokinesis, it plays a major role in the cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is nothing but the cell division which I have said you. So here the explant which we have chosen will undergo the cell division process. And once it undergoes the cell division, then it will get divided into the many cells, mass of cells. And that mass of cells is called as a callus. 
so like this callus and now this callus plays a major role either it undergoes uh, one condition of the root formation or else another condition of the root formation so here let us see properly so here callus will be formed and now this callus has a two uh, you know two entries i mean it can either undergoes a root formation once it undergoes a root formation then in the nutrient medium you can see this there will be a presence of the root which has been developed from the callus and once this callus undergoes the shoot formation then what happens then the shoot formation occurs that's nothing but the what is mean by shoot and what is mean by root i have said you the root is nothing but the system which is present below the soil is called as a root system and once the uh, root system will get developed in this here and here the shoot development occurs that's nothing but the leaves you know meristem as well as like that that's nothing but the shoot system shoot region okay so here either in this process the root formation occurs or as a shoot formation occurs so once the root formation occurs then immediately there will be a formation of a shoot right here there is a presence of the shoot like this so in this process here the shoot has been already developed but now what here what it should undergoes it should undergoes the formation of a root so here the root will get developed make sure the cotton should not get removed once the cotton will get removed and the harmful bacteria which is present in the external environment will enter into the test tube and it doesn't make the success success of this organogenesis so to prevent that you have to not re remove this cotton so we have to place tightly that cotton so enough they don't uh, you know we have to check this nutrient medium properly and here the nutrient medium plays a major role because it consists of the cytokinins right so here in this way uh, you know two pro either of the two process occurs i mean in the, there, are, there are both process from which this explant will get uh, you know from which this plant will get developed from the explant right so to so either of this both only one process occur either it may form root or first or else either it may form shoot first and once it both forms then immediately it undergoes its process to form the organs complete organs so this will be about your organogenesis and one of the most important thing which you have to remember is that there will be organogenesis will be of two types direct organogenesis and indirect organogenesis so what is meant by this direct organogenesis it is a phenomena where the formation of callus doesn't occur in this direct organogenesis there will be no formation of callus students where this explant will get directly cultured to form a new plant where there will be no formation of a callus but in the indirect organogenesis firstly the explant which has been cultured will get developed into the callus and now this callus will undergo the root formation and then shoot formation and complete plant will get developed so this is the main difference between the direct organogenesis and indirect organogenesis right so if you see the definition now you can understand the definition properly so you, so if you see here properly what what is organogenesis which i have said you the formation of organs like root stem leaves from the callus in a culture medium by inducing some of the chemicals is known as organogenesis so here chemicals are nothing but we are inducing ox in cytokinins which are nothing but the plant growth regulators and not only this we are going to add the nitrogen phosphorus you know manganese magnesium micro elements mic macro elements there are many type of nutrients which are present in that nutrient medium by using those all of those nutrients where this uh, callus will develop into the proper what we say this organs so that phenomenon is called as an organogenesis so notes on this topic will be given in the whatsapp group so the invite link of that whatsapp group will be given in the description box and you can join us through whatsapp group and then you can ask notes in that group so that we, uh, we can provide you so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video just do like and subscribe and hope you would like this video and you understood my explanation then if you understood the explanation you can comment in the comment box and if you if you also have any doubts you can also comment in the comment box i'm going to clarify doubts immediately thank you